Hi guys, welcome back to Joyce Arts. So, as you can see, my client looks so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And in a few minutes, I'll be uh, showing you a process how you can do it to come out this way. So welcome guys, you have to start by parting your client's hair, as my client, this is what she wanted, okay, so uh, the parting process is as you can see, you have to part your hair in this manner. And then I'll have to plait first the inner lines, the normal inner lines. You can fix in a braid or be, uh, if your your hair is not that thick or if your client's hair is not that thick, okay. parts okay stay tuned to learn more so and then with the lines you can see how behind looks or how back part looks <laughs> So this, here it's a little bit curved. You can see this one is a little bit hanging, but it's okay. And then this part here, I just did the normal lines, just uh, the really normal lines. You play it from here and then you just have to go round and round like that until you finish. All right. So in this manner, I have these bandica extensions here, or you can call them bandica weaving, or you can call them uh, ganayan weaving. Okay, so I'm burning uh, the uh, the beginning because uh, I don't want them to fall later, so I just want them to lie flat on my client's head. That's why I'm doing this using fire to just a little bit and then you make it straight with your fingers, huh? just a little bit so that you won't spoil it. So they are ready here and you can see them, they're very sharp from the start and very straight. So guys, I will start by weaving the ganayans first. And uh, this is how we are going to do it. I have to place it first like this to see where it fits and then I have to place my needle
I have to leave just a, a small um, pointing uh, ganayan just in front uh, to cover the, the hair just a little bit. So you have to make sure that when you place your needle, like from this side here, you have to hold the other side also on the ganayan. Like this side here, you have also to make sure that the needle touches that ganayan or that banika of that weave, yeah? good so the process is still just the same as i do the next one also so i hope you continue watching and uh, to get something yeah or to understand something So guys, uh, I'll be feeding this one here in front, uh, it's a little bit uh, folded, so you just have to go with the, with the way the lines are, okay, it will just fold nicely because my, my canyon lines are well plated, they're very tight, so that when I want to fold them, they just fold in any shape okay so it's nothing to worry it just folds nicely so when you're making your ganyans uh, your ganayans or these bandica lines you can just make them 
a little bit uh, tight so that when you knit them or when you weaver them on your plant head they can last for long or they can um, come out very neat and uh, all that yeah good So here I have to fold these ends, this part and then this one I have to fold it again and I have to fold it with a needle so that I can start by adding uh, the weave, okay.
So I'll be using this whip here, Sandra. You can see it. It's short. And so this is the process how to start feeding it on your plant's head. Okay, so let's continue by doing that. You just have to follow the procedure the way I'm doing. I have to feed it, feed in this wave as uh, I, you, maybe you face um, you face your client so that you can feed it, uh, feed in it as you as it it, it it lies on the front or on the forehead so that it comes out with a nice look. Okay. You can cut or you can fold when you reach uh, such a place, it depends how you like. So guys, after reaching this part here, then I'll have to start by rotating to the other side. And so I'll be doing a curving one from, from the back. Okay. I'll be standing by uh, at the back of my client. And so I'll be doing it just round as it is that way so it's just simple as the way you see it I'll be going round um, I have to curve from this side to the other side you just curve it, curve it, curve it going up like that You curve until here, and then you have to start again going back like that as you curve it in that manner. And so, when I reach such a place, then I have to curve also, and then Finishing, I'll do the finishing from here.
so the finishing is well done there and so guys now it's part that we need to trim it you have to remove the those pointing from the from down there like here you have to cut just a little bit okay and then i have to trim a little bit the the flips this ones so like that i think that is okay now and then i have to go and check uh, the front part also to see if there is a a weave that is hanging somewhere that is not correct then i have to trim it yep you can also do the back back trimming back trimming is where maybe you've trimmed a, a weave and you don't you don't want you don't you don't want it to be too thick there then you have to do the back trimming okay that's what i'm trying to say so here it's okay now like that i have to cut, cut this first and so my client is tying for this uh, side lines you can do them plain if you like you can do them this attaching with these ones so you weaver them then it will still look good on your client's head even on your head so that's how she looks and so i'll be using a, a setting mouse to make the cars stay firm okay just a little bit wet and then they will stay firm like that and so see how it looks my people for your support i'm so so humbled